Gonna do a quick little pre-trip. Uh, I gotta drop this in Atlanta. And then after that, I've got a load going to Augusta. And then after that, I've got a load going to Oklahoma. So the miles is good this week. I'll be well over 3,000. But anyways, I'm making my way to Atlanta. Um, like two and a half hours away. We got unloaded really quick in there. Um, so yeah, wasn't a bad drop. Well, it was a live unload, but like I said, it was quick. We're in Schneider's territory right now. Old Schneider. Um, so now I'm headed to Rome, Georgia, about an hour and a half away to pick up this next load. And it's going to Augusta. I have until 12.30 tomorrow to get it there. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to stay the night. Well, not the night, but take my 10-hour break at the Marietta Terminal after I pick this load up. Um, get some decent food. There's a Chinese place down the street that uh, delivers to the terminal. You know, it's something different. I love Chinese food too, so I'm thinking that's what I'll do. If everything goes right, I'll get back to the Marietta Terminal around three-ish, and then that means I can get up at one in the morning and run that load. And then after that, I've got to pick up in South Carolina, but it's right there near Augusta, Georgia. So I gotta pick up in South Carolina tomorrow after I drop this next load and that's going to Oklahoma. See, this is why Atlanta is worse than Houston to me. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. What the hell is going on other than people are idiots and don't know how to drive. I will forever hate Atlanta. That's another reason I'm gonna shut down at Marietta is I'm, no. I'll go through Atlanta at one o'clock in the morning. I'm not gonna go back through it again today. And by the time I come back through it, it's gonna be rush hour by that point. There's no way in hell that I'm doing that. Uh -uh. Nope. Yay! And then once traffic breaks, you wonder, like, seriously, what the heck was going on because there's nothing here to slow down the freaking traffic. So we're on 75 North. We're going through Marietta right now. If you look over to 75 South, it's rolling. It's cramped, but it's rolling over there. But closer you get to 285 I mean it's dead stop jam-packed so that definitely uh, strengthens my plan to stop in Marietta on the way back down
guy was not friendly. He didn't wave back. And he had green hair. <laughs> Dude, this place is dead. This is probably the most empty I've ever seen this place. No, it is for sure now that I've, yeah. This is the emptiest I've ever seen this place. For sure. I'm talking about empty trailers, none. There's not near as many bobtails as there normally is. neighborhood over there so Crete strongly encourages you not to idle while you're up here which is fine with me the reason I sit up here I got my windows down because it's nice and cool right now you hear that me either that's why I like sitting up here man there's not the noise of people constantly disconnecting from trailers hooking up reefers people coming in and out and man it it yeah um i got tattoo this old glory it's still healing up so it probably looks kind of crappy but yeah i had baby mama's name on my wrist and we're not together anymore we've not been together for a while i just have not cared to get it covered up I guess you could say um but yeah I was tired of living like white trash so last time I was home I got a tattoo and I like it I'm addicted now that was that her name was the only tattoo I had um but now I've got this one and I'm really considering I think that I'm just gonna go full sleeves both arms I like tattoos, man. They're cool. I'm thinking about doing a Statue of Liberty. It's basically my whole right arm is gonna be like a America arm. Um, so I'm gonna do the Statue of Liberty uh, somewhere, or my daughter's name. Uh, I'll never regret getting my daughter's name put on me. So I might do my daughter's name too some at some point. But yeah, anyways, I uh, got my food. They brought my food, so I'm going to eat, uh, watch a little bit of YouTube, and then I'm going to hit the hay, and then that way I can get out of here early in the morning, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Peace. Okie dokie, people. Uh, we just dropped in Augusta. No empty trailers where we dropped off. So, we're just going to bobtail to our next pickup. It is only about nine miles from it, so it's all so it's all good. Um, one thing is my Qualcomm. I got up this morning. Put myself on duty. Got out do my pre-trip uh, once I got back inside the truck my Qualcomm was the screen was black on it so I'm thinking what the heck try fixing it I can hear it through the truck it still makes noise like listen Home. messaging you have five new messages it is 13 home messaging so oh, it so still good. makes noise through the truck I just can't read the screen because I can't see it so I messaged Crete let them know I was like hey do you want to t-call this here or can I run it and I'm coming back through Marietta anyways they were like that's fine just run paper logs hey say no more I don't mind running paper logs Plus, it's a short day today. I drove like three hours out here to Augusta. Then it's about three hours back. Because I'm going to end up showing.
shutting down in Marietta again. Not by choice. I wanted to go further today, but I got to get this Qualcomm fixed. So that's been my morning. Kind of ticked off. Um, I'm going to have to call logs immediately once I shut down to Marietta and let them know that, hey, because, you know, because I can't see my screen, I can't put myself off duty or anything like that and because it's still reading the truck like it works it's just my screen is screwed up it's not coming on and I tried resetting it and everything multiple times it just didn't work and, but like it's still recording my drive time um, I can't put myself off duty so here at Crete whenever you go from driving to when you shut your truck off if you don't switch yourself to off duty, it automatically puts you on on duty. So, yeah, I've just been doing nothing but drive time and on duty time today, according to this Qualcomm, which is not the truth. So I'm gonna have to call logs and get them to get it figured out, get me corrected, because this thing is killing my uh, clock 70 hour clock too you know but it shouldn't be a problem to get it fixed but anyways i'm about to pick up so we picked up now i'm in route shut up jeepus GPS retard, it says speed limit's 55, it's not, it's 65. So if you continuously hear speed warning, that's the reason why. Creep, I'm not speeding. I can assure you I'm not speeding. Um, speed warning. Shut up, lady, get brief. Um, but yeah, picked up, now we're en route to Marietta. We'll be there in about three hours nine o'clock right now so we'll get back by noon and yeah good old Marietta back at it again hopefully yesterday well you saw in the video yesterday when I got to the terminal it was damn near empty I'm hoping today is kind of the same thing and then that way I can get my truck in and back out and maybe get a little bit further down the road Day. Who knows though? Probably not. Probably not. Somebody screwed up. ATS. Georgia. Georgia, the whole day through, just an old sweet song.